Previously on the Chu Sisters, Dad Hong fell sick and was rushed to the nearest hospital and then diagnosed with kidney disease. Mom had to call the girls, Gemma and Luna, back home. The family had to sell their bakery because they had to pay off the hospital bills. Gemma and Luna were not getting along and mom came up with a plan to get the girls to work together. A friendly cooking competition. It didn't help the girls get along any better, but it gave the girls an idea. They can use the cooking booths to raise money to get the family's bakery back, all without their parents knowing. Mom Misha has sent the girls away to Oasis Springs to visit their auntie Dory. Gemma did not like the Oasis Springs heat, but Nuna found an unexpected new friend. But best of all, the girls were so happy to hang out with Auntie Dory. She was the best. Uh, she definitely shared a secret or two of their parents' childhood. And now, on to a brand new episode of the Chew Sisters. Hello, you don't even know my name, but I am happy you came by. Hey guys, welcome on back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking my video, and if you are new, Welcome on in. My name is Simavala, and today is a brand new episode of the Two Sisters. We've just seen what previously happened, but if you want to catch both episodes, I will have the link to the playlist in the description below. So, okay. So it's been about two and a half weeks since the girls came back home from Oasis Springs, and they brought back the medicine to Dad. Dad is feeling really good, but. Mm, Mom, Misha, not so much because the girls immediately came home and they told Misha everything that Auntie Dory told them about their childhood. Now, at first, Misha was kind of amused because, understandably, it's really, really silly. It's something that happened when they were children, and Misha is like, she's always been like, whatever. It's not a big deal. Like, what's the big deal, you know? But then she started looking at the girl's face and she kind of seen a little bit of disappointment in their faces and that is what pissed her off. So, but not only that, she is definitely going through some premenopausal symptoms. Um, it basically says Misha is going through a change of life during premenopause. Sims experience changes, hormonal fluctuations, um... While these hormonal fluctuations are normal, they could cause the sim to be, you know, a little bit moody, the woohoo drive will go down, and all that stuff, right? So that's what Misha is going through on top of being upset at her sister. But then a little bit earlier today, she got a text from Dory. And this is what it said. Let's check it out, guys. So that was a brief text conversation between Misha and her sister Dory. Dory basically wants to apologize face to face, you know, explain why she told the girls their little childhood memory of Misha stealing her boyfriend, which is now her husband, the girl's father. But uh, Misha is really annoyed by it all because honestly, she can't believe Dory's still acting like this, you know. She feels like she's acting like a little spoiled brat and that uh, honestly, all this is, is irrelevant. This is the past. Um, it was a blip moment and she needs to get over it. And the fact that Misha is angry makes her even more upset. 
because she doesn't want to be angry. She doesn't want to be in this mood, in this moment, because she already has a lot of stress in her life. So she's here venting to Gemma about the whole situation. But anyway, guys, Dory is on her way. And I can't wait for Dory to come because this is definitely going to be a conversation we are going to want to hear. And that's going to happen a little bit later on in the episode. Alright guys, you know how I was saying Hung was feeling so much better, and he is, but he's also feeling really sad because he's starting to notice Gemma's lifestyle. Hung has a horrible feeling that something isn't quite right with his child. Gemma is young. She is like only 22 years old. I mean, the girl likes to party. She likes to have a good time. Before heading back home, you know, because her dad was sick, Gemma was living her life in Windenburg. And guys, you know Windenburg is like party central. And if you talk to Gemma, her life is fine the way it is. She wants to do what she wants to do, what she wants to do it. I've said this before. So, being home is really is quite an adjustment that Gemma hasn't gotten down yet. And Hong didn't notice before, obviously, because he was so sick. But now that he's feeling a little bit better, he's taking note. <laughs> he's taking note, and he doesn't like what he sees. I mean... Gemma is his baby girl, and he is really worried about her. Hong talks to Gemma. Gemma, what are you doing? Look at this place. It's a mess. All these bottles everywhere. Do you work today? Dad, I'm collecting them, and yes, I work at night, and everything is fine. Stop worrying about me. Look at her. She's on her phone. <laughs> Gemma, you can't continue to be this way you can't continue to live this way day after day the same thing and there is a little piece of Gemma that wants to make her parents proud of her she does want to eventually take over the family business once they get it back and she knows that she has to be more responsible just not now she needs rest and no hangover let me quickly interject here. I just want to explain a little bit for those who are new. My Let's Plays are mainly story-based and um, I like to tell the character's point of view the majority of the time. The only time you're going to see actual Let's Play where the menu is popping up is during scenes like this or when the girls are cooking having a cooking competition where they're selling you know at the booth um and very similar scenes like that that's where you will see the actual let's play but i love to tell a story and my let's plays are very much so story based so i just wanted to explain that before i jump into more of my scenes so we're gonna move on hung you know we've talked about the last situation where hung is still upset so he immediately goes to luna the family loves to confide in luna she is the sensible responsible one she listens you know she gives direction and she helps them see things a little bit clearly she gives the best advice works very hard but with all of that it does way heavy on Luna you know on her shoulders she has a lot on her shoulders her parents depend on her and right now she's just explaining to her dad like listen dad I got it you know Gemma is her, a grown person and he's like I appreciate you Luna I love you so dad is helping out too he is here taking up the garbage Luna is washing the dishes and she is going to have a little bit of a small talk with Gemma and say like hey you know chill out a little bit and you seen her she just gave that look like yo <laughs> chill sis <laughs> but yeah you know Luna is that perfectionist and she gets it honestly from her dad um, and look at Gem Gemma's like sis what do you what do you mean what do I have to do she's like just step up a little bit dad's really worried about you She's like, Luna, I want to have fun. She's like, have fun late at night when dad and mom are sleeping. And try to, like, be a little bit more responsible. She's like, okay, sis, I got you, I got you. So, yeah, I mean, I love the, the whole family dynamic, you know. 
I love Luna and I love Gemma. I love their sisterly um, relationship that they have for each other. You know, at times they will bicker and at times they will definitely support each other, you know? Yeah, a lot of ups and downs between the two sisters as far as their relationship goes. Um, the whole family dynamic will probably be changing over time and in their own personal lives, you know, as far as growth and just things. But most importantly, we need to see a lot of change in the money, honey. Okay, so <laughs> we're taking a look at Luna's account. She has about $4,000 in her personal save and she has about almost two grand in the family savings. Um, and here is Gemma's. Yeah, not so great. 300 less than $300 in both her personal and family savings now as far as the family savings go they really need at least I want to say about 30 grand to save the family's bakery and they are in no way they are in no way close to doing that so we got a lot of work to do the parents, Misha and Hung, are truly enjoying the moment of Hung's extra energy. And mom, yes, she's going through the whole pre-menopause thing, but honey, her and hubby, woohoo drive is not going down at all. I know that's right. Mm. Okay, it says uh, juvenile passion, honey. This is Hong's move, a uh, little move lit. Hong's latest adventure with a much younger partner uh, reminded him of the times when he was a full of energy as his partner. Well, Hong does have his energy, but obviously not as much as he used to because of his sickness. But uh, Misha is a little bit younger than him. Him. She is an adult and Hong is an elder. So that's why that popped up. And Misha's little mood lid is Lover's Bliss. That was wonderful. There's nothing quite like the familiar touch of a lover's embrace. Misha is truly glad to have shared a passionate moment with her partner. Yes. Guys, it is the next day and my girl Luna is at work. You know, she is a critic. So she has a lot of work to do besides selling things at the booth, you know, her little competition with Gemma and raising money for the family. She has a real job. It says the kitchen nightmare. Luna decides to take a day trip to visit a restaurant that's falling on hard times. Stopping inside or stepping inside, she was immediately disappointed. She's like, oh my gosh, this place is horrible. Tired and dusty decor did little to mask that dining room had been updated in over a freaking decade. The food that was served caused Luna's stomach to churn. She wondered, is it even enough to simply write a review? Like, how can she even do her job? She wanted to go into this restaurant, right? And she really wanted to be positive and help them out because they were on hard times. But it is an utter mess. If this is the food they present to a critic, imagine the horrors waiting to be uncovered in the kitchen. Will Luna barge into the kitchen, conduct a surprise inspection, or simply return to her office and write a soothing review? Luna is definitely just going to write a review. She doesn't want any more problems. She definitely understands being a little bit... Um, on hard times because her family's going through the same thing right now being that her parents lost their uh, bakery so she's just going to write a review and she is so uncomfortable and tired 
Okay, guys, we'll get back to Luna, but listen, look, who's here? It's Auntie Dory. Okay, she arrived. She's here. She's at the front door. She is ready to basically own up to, you know, her part in um, everything, you know, talk, telling the girls about their little childhood past uh and you know shining a really bad light on her sister you know making misha look really bad so she's here to apologize and um i'm hoping it all goes well hey sis dory let's just cut to the chase shall we okay i'm sorry <laughs> What else can I say? It was harmless. I took the girls out to eat and we started reminiscing about the past. And yeah, you know, I mentioned you stole my boyfriend. So what? Dory, <laughs> I stole no one. You and Hong were never anything. Stop telling this silly story and stop trying to make me look bad. Sis, whether or not it's something that happens and the truth is you did hurt me and you had no problem back in the day telling everyone you stole my boyfriend. Did it occur to you that uh, maybe, just maybe, I was hurt by it? Well, we were younger, and who cares? I do, sis. I care. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. I hurt your feelings back in the day. And I'm sorry I hurt your feelings two weeks ago. Are we done with this? We're done. We're done. I love you, sis. And, you know, I, I want to say thank you. Thank you for fixing the remedy, you know, the medicine for harm. Of course, sis. I love you. I love both of you. I love this whole damn family. I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. Uh, are we squashed? Is everything fine? Everything's fine, Dorby. Okay, so can we enjoy this little visit of mine? Yes, sis, we can enjoy the visit. Hi, right, guys, Luna is back home from work, and oh, Luna is so freaking miserable. She is, you know what, guys? She is really, really exhausted. As you can see, she has the uncomfortable moodlet. It says exhausted, you know, from critically low energy. And the only reason why Luna is so tired, and it's just not like sleepy tired. It's that Luna is mentally and physically exhausted. Um, but of course, you know, Luna wants to be able to take care of her family and being that her dad is sick. Um, she just wants everything to be okay, you know, and it's really getting to her. And then also being a critic where, you know, she goes to these restaurants and she knows that they are relying on her review, um, and especially when she has to give a bad review, she feels so guilty. But yeah, so let's try. I'm going to try and get Luna into bed um, without any interruptions. Um, hopefully she can get some sleep. Yeah, she's thinking about sleep. Let's see if we can get her into bed. There she's going there. Oh, she's like, oh my gosh, Auntie Dory is here? What? She's thinking about the car. No, don't nap inside of the car. She's like, I don't even want to go inside. Oh. <laughs> oh, Luna. She's like, I don't even want to go inside of the house. She is totally hiding out. Um, She doesn't want to deal with the family at all so she is falling asleep here i didn't even know that was possible i didn't even know the sims can like fall asleep in a car the car is custom content but yeah i didn't i had no idea that that was about to happen but because you know what that's something that i would do you know what i'm saying it's like when you want to avoid everyone in your household and you just want to sit in your car <laughs> In the driveway, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's basically what Luna is doing right now. Ma, 
my girl Gemma is getting all ready. She's getting pumped up, actually, because, you know, she is taking Luna's advice and she is having a cozy night inside. So she is going to be calling over the military guy. His name is AJ. She's going to give him a call because he's in town for a little special duty. He's in Sequoia for at least one night. So she's inviting him over. Um, and the parents are sleeping. Auntie Dory's sleeping somewhere. I don't know. But Gemma is getting ready. She's freshening up. Uh, yes, she's 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 excited, you know. You know, Gemma loves to have that um uh, comfy, cozy um partnership. <laughs> uh no no commitments. No commitments. Uh so yeah, so She's trying on a couple of outfits, seeing what may work for her. And yeah, so we are going to be waiting for AJ to come over and we'll see what happens. Hopefully Gemma will have a good night and this could be something that she can do instead of going out every night to the club, drinking, partying, you know? Yeah, girl, look at you. You look good, yes. It's in my birthday yet, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights gosh guys I don't know we can't even have a nice intimate night uh he is really possessed Gemma you're gonna have to let this one go oh my god <laughs> where is he oh no oh he's going through the walls Gemma you have to get him out he's so creepy oh I hate this because he really is a cute guy. Oh, Gemma's terrified. She's like, what in the heck is going on? It's getting worse. She's like, AJ, snap out of it, dude. He's like, whoa, whoa, what happened? What happened? What happened is that, um, honey, you have issues and you've got to go. Well, guys, I really wanted things to work out between Gemma and and AJ but his possession is like so bad and we ain't got time to be going down to no stranger vote it's not happening so unfortunately Gemma is going to have to let him down tell him that she just wants to be friends obviously and like call it the night like we're done Gemma's like, listen, AJ, I adore you. You're such a sweet guy. Always have a good time with you. But honestly, hun, it ain't working. And um, yeah, I just want to be friends. He's like, ah, okay, cool. Uh, I'm just going to call me an Uber and go. And that's that. All right, guys, before I wrap up this episode, I do want to do a little bit of gameplay 
I have the family downstairs. It's, it's basically the next day. The girls are here. I really want them to focus on a little bit on their careers. Uh, I got a couple of tasks that I want them to do. I want Luna to up her gourmet cooking. She has to do that. So I'm going to have her make a meal. And then when it comes to Gemma, I'm going to have her do her little headshot, little photos. But also I'm going to have Gemma prep for the um, sale in on the booth. Because she needs to make a couple of items like pizza and all that stuff. So she's going to do that. Okay, we're going to get started, guys. I'm going to get Gemma super focused. Luna's going to cook. Dad is enjoying his day. Um, Dory's sitting next to him. So there is no beef. Everything's all peachy. Mom, I think, is actually um, somewhere in the house. I think she's sleeping. Um, but she does have to go to work today so everybody let's go um dad's a little bit tired you know he is really faking the funk honestly he's going to sleep that remedy that dory cooked up for him basically was just like a little patch okay and it is now wearing down just a little bit so dad's gonna go to sleep Gemma, i mean luna is going to cook there she goes she's chopping stuff up for her meal and Gemma's gonna take her photos and let's get started. All right, I have to take a couple of headshots of Gemma for her job. Um, these don't look like professional headshots to me, but we're gonna make do with what we got. <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple of pictures and just send it off. Gemma is hyper focused. Time to get, yes. All right, Gemma is hyper focused. All right, I'm going to have Gemma cook a couple of pizzas. Ooh, but she does not have any fresh ingredients. Um, I'm just going to have her cook something anyway. And then we are going to order a couple of things from the grocery delivery. We need an onion. We need a couple of vegetables. Um... Everyone's cleaning up. Gemma is jamming. <laughs> she is listening to music downstairs when she should be practicing her cooking. There is the grocery delivery. Except delivery. Oh, what's the name? Hey, buddy, thank you for uh, delivering my food. Okay, you gotta put it down. Thank you. Okay, Gemma is really focused, so this is a good thing. Unload delivery bag and tell him to get out because you're not tipping him. Just go away. All right, so now that Gemma has the food, maybe she can cook some pizza. She's going to sell pizza because it's the easiest thing for her to do. I need tomato paste or tomato sauce. Oh, we forgot that. Oh, we can do this. Okay, we're going to make that. We are also going to make some berry waffles. All right, guys, I got my girl here, Luna. She's definitely taking a walk. She's getting away from the house. Um, just basically, you know, dealing with the family, cleaning, cooking, doing all this stuff. It's, it's just really annoying her. She's a bit tense. So I'm going to have my girl go for a walk and she just texts someone and I think it's her new friend she met in Oasis Springs. His name is Noah. So I'm going to have my girl Luna just have a moment, you know, 
just a moment for herself. Ooh, Noah texts her back. He says, I'm good. Was just thinking about you. When can I see you again? Oh my God, okay, Luna's really thinking of what to say. But when would she have an opportunity to ever go back to Oasis Springs? She has so much responsibility on her. What is she going to do? What is she going to say? Noah, I'm going to call you? What? Who does that? Who calls anyone anymore? Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we're going to have to find out what luna is telling noah and what's her decision and all that in the next episode i'm so sorry guys to leave you here but you know <laughs> i wanted you guys really to get reacquainted with the chill sisters and the whole family again and in the next song i promise will be more gameplay and we'll definitely find out all that juicy gossip and all that tea um so yeah if you're new and you like this you know definitely give me a thumbs up if you can leave a comment let me know what you think about the episode and if you are new hit that subscribe button it will mean so much to me um, and listen guys, I promise I won't wait a whole two months before I put out the next episode. I'll try to have some consistency with my Let's Plays, but you know, we love our mod reviews. So, um, thank you guys for joining me today. I'm Simarala, and that's Luna, and we're signing out. Bye guys.